threats and the uncontrollable urge to rat out your co-workers. Oh, wait, that last one was you, not the patient. I wasn't trying to rat. I was clearly trying to honor my ethical obligation. Portal vein thrombosis could be caused by Wilson's disease. Hooray! You popped your cherry, diagnostically speaking. Unfortunately, first time always sucks. Pitch doesn't make any sense. Dugan's cornea was normal. You're obviously brilliant. But why would you hide your mind? I was brainstorming. I'm not talking about your stupid ideas about the patient. I mean your stupid ideas about morality. My stupid ideas are what most doctors consider the rules for professional contact. What about a neuroendocrine tumor? Not without diminished mental capacity, loss of judgment. Disseminated intravascular coagulation, however, fits. Rules are just helpful guidelines for stupid people who can't make up their own mind. You obviously don't fit into that category, so why put yourself there? Masters is right about a neuroendocrine tumor. Because, yes, Dugan has had loss of judgment. He made this totally inflammatory anti-immigration campaign commercial for Anderson. It just got leaked online. You're arguing Dugan's politics or saying he's mentally compromised? No, his tactics. He's most likely the one who leaked it, and all the commentators are saying Anderson will catch a major backlash. And honesty is a great idea, until your patient asks if her distended abdomen makes her look fat. How say to interrupt your ethics debate, but we have two solid ideas on the table. CT from his neck to his abdomen for neuroendocrine tumors. Run D-dimer and fibrinogen for DIC. Masters, if lying to a patient saved their life, would you do it? No. That's a lie. If your grandma gave you a really crappy tea cozy for Christmas, would you tell her you liked it? Yes, but that's different. So you lie when it doesn't matter when you want when it does. Why'd you get so screwed up?